and welcome back and today we're going to make some escape rooms. We're actually going to use one that I made last year and we're going to revamp it. Basically we're just going to add a couple more rooms to it. So this is what I made last year. There's three escape rooms. The first room takes them to keeping it all in perspective. The second room takes them to the lost ladybug. And the third room takes them to field day fun. They solve all of the locks in the escape room. And once they solve all the locks, then they have completed their escape. When I shared it with the teachers and the kids, they loved it. So this year they asked me to do more. So I went to Breakout EDU. I found all of the elementary level escape rooms and I linked them to create four more escape room pages. I'm going to go to Canva. I'm using an education presentation. I'm going to look for some graphics. I found three keys to be my inspiration. And from that, I'm using the skeleton keys as one room. And then I move to locks. I use the neon locks to make room two. And I'm going to use a safe to make room three. And finally, I'm going to make doors for my room four escape room. Back to my key room, I wanted to add a little extra something, so I added some ribbon. I'm adding a computer, and it's going to have the title of the page. I will be linking the escape rooms from Breakout EDU. If you don't have a subscription to them, they're wonderful. They come out with new escape rooms pretty frequently. They also have ones that are not digital. So you can order a kit and the kids can have escape rooms or breakout boxes, whatever you want to call them. I use them in the library and the kids really do enjoy them. We're going to move on to the neon locks. I'm going to basically make it so that there's four rooms on this page too. The instructions, the title, I use the magic recommendation on the graphics in the little element tab. Once I found one that I liked, then I use the magic recommendation to see all of them that are part of that collection. And it makes it a lot easier for me to find the rest of them. Like since I'm doing four different rooms, once I found one, I wanted to be, be able to find all four of them. Okay, and the neon room is finished. Then I wanted to add a little bit something extra, so I added the potted plants. And then I'm going to create the title. To see, sometimes it's just a little change in color that just brings it all together. And with this room, instead of using graphics for each one of the numbers, I'm just using a font. I like to mix it up every once in a while. For my last room, we're going with the locked doors. Thought it would be kind of fun. I found metallic door numbers and that became my inspiration. I used the magic recommendation and I found the rest of the numbers. Then I found the hanging signs. I want the signs to say room. So I'm going to hang a sign from each door, enlarge the house number, and that is going to be how I make the, the door page. Once they're all done, because I'm me, I love my Bitmoji. It's almost like something that makes it just mine. So I did add my Bitmoji to each one of the escape room pages. I downloaded every page as a PNG file so that I can upload it to my Google Slides as the background. And once I'm in the Google Slide, I use my notes section again. I copied each one of the links into the notes so that I remember where it is and it'll make it easier for me when I link each one of the rooms. I'm going to insert each one of the images as a background. And once all of the images are inserted, it's time to link everything. So if you watch any one of my prior videos, you know that I use a transparent square or rectangle and I use that to make my link. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the transparent rectangle into the door escape room. I just copy and paste. I'm going to do the same thing for the safe room. I'm going to do it for the neon locks. And finally for the skeleton key. And 
once each transparent square is placed over the correct item, then I insert the link to the Breakout EDU escape room. The great thing with this, the bottom of the notes section, I also linked the answer key to each one of the rooms in case you get stuck or in case the, I mean, you don't have to tell the kids, but just in case you wanted to make it easier on yourself and not have to solve each one of the escape rooms. It is a bit tedious, but I, I tell people creating these projects is my way of relaxing. It makes me very calm if I'm having a very stressful day or if something is just making me anxious. I go in and I create and I just feel better. So that's what I did today. I'm a little stressed from all the things I had to do. I gave myself an hour and I just went in and I created and I feel better now. everyone I hope you found this informative please subscribe like the video and come back next time for another video happy reading everyone